beautiful people around the world the key common family i hope all of you are blessed well and healthy and that nothing but the best is going on in all you guys life man your family your friends the neighbors the strangers around the world man and your marriages relationships friendships man we wish you nothing but love more blessings more health man hey um we have a request sent in um so check out this video by the warrior poet society um by jonathan and um i'm just going through some of the comments man and even the comments on my reaction to this song and um it still brings me into tears reading some comments man and just even seeing on other people's videos man it's actually pretty pretty eye-opening man and one comment that i like about this uh before we get into this video uh by steve steve says there there isn't anything to break down this song is so simple and direct i memorized it on my first listen everyone with a soul can feel it mm. and um there's a comment that really uh, that kind of broke me down a little bit man and it says working three jobs now seven days a week to battle inflation and support my family this song hits home and y'all bro y'all don't understand how many comments i didn't cry to responding back to people of people telling me this exact same thing man people that are literally struggling going through tough times man and this is why i tell y'all man spread love man be kind care for one another because you never know what somebody's going through man in today's time man we're living in sick dark times things are being done behind closed doors and i just want to wish y'all nothing but the best man because oh it is getting really really scary and dark out here man i promise you but uh also in the comments uh some of, a lot of people are sharing their first that their their favorite lyrics and um you know it's always good to take in other um other way how people take in things how people view things how people see things it's very very important to see how others take stuff in how others reflect and you know how they you know taking uh different verses and lyrics and stuff like that and how deep it hits them you know this is why i say it's people in on, on the platform in the community matter man us reactors we matter man you know what i'm saying like i said like i tell y'all the majority of the people that actually boosted this song really really popular was us in the community people like you people like him her she i mean reactors i mean you name it we've all boosted this song man because it's nothing but the truth man it speaks the truth and it's actually the voice for trillions of people around the world not just in america you feel me people all the way in australia feel this song people are in people all the way across the world are going through the exact same thing that we're going through down here in america man you know I was re I'm, I'm reading all the comments, man, from around the world, and it's actually pretty, pretty sad what people are going through, man. And I'm wishing nothing but love, blessings, and more health and success in all you guys' life, man. More doors to open, new opportunities to open in all you guys' life, man. Please claim that energy, and I hope nothing but the best in the future goes good in all you guys' life, man. Hey, I love y'all, man. But let's get into this uh, breakdown of the hit song richmond north of richmond and um hey i will leave the original link down below and again shout out to my brother jonathan for sending this to me um it's always good like i said it's always good to take in um different versions of how people view the song and how people take in the song and even videos like this where we actually break down where we break down the hit song you know so it's a, a new thing for me but hey you guys sent it in so I'm here to check it out, so let's check it out, family. The most popular song in America right now is by Anthony Oliver. It's a song called Rich Men North of Richmond. Why is this song so popular? I'm gonna answer that in this video and I'm gonna unpack the lyrics and decipher them. I'm John Lovell, Warrior Poet Society. And, and shout out to John. Like I said, I will leave the original link down below if y'all wanna watch it, but shout out to John. Uh, it's no hate on uh, nothing but love. Again, we're just checking in his video, taking in what he, how he you know how he broke down the song and maybe some of us can relate maybe some of us can't hey it is what it is man but let's check it out so it's the work of poets to decipher this kind of stuff and so 
I believe Richmond, north of Richmond, is a dirge for the American dream. It's a funeral song. It's pure truth in an age of lies. And that hits hard. That resonates mm. because we feel everything is corrupt. Everything is just lies. And here this man, this country boy is just singing the blues in the only way that he knows how. Doing something that mm. we're unable to do. Perhaps we're too angry about everything going on for us to be able to do this. But he cries for us. Mm. Uh, metaphorically, through the song, it's just pure, a deep soul groaning. And so I want to jump into the song uh, and unpack what the lyrics are. So without further ado, let's jump in. He sings, I've been selling my soul, working all day. Working all day. Overtime hours for bullcrap pay. Uh, he uses that word intentionally. It's a powerful word and I think he's right to do so. So I can sit out here and waste my life away. For bullshit pay. You got to say it like that, John. For bullshit pay. You know what I'm saying? I know everybody want to stay on the censor, censor side of things, but hey, man, I got to let that pain out, man, for the people that's working hard right now, man. There's somebody working hard right now, man, trying to feed their family, trying to make ends meet, man. Working seven days a week, 80 hours a week, man. I ain't censoring nothing, man. Bullshit pay, man. Come on, baby drag back home and drown my troubles away. He's not working to live. He's working just to survive. And every day is Groundhog Day. He wakes up mm. to make a living and it's just enough so that he can get back up and go back to a job where he's underpaid and he's mm. not making ends meet. It's just paycheck to paycheck. And that's how most Americans are feeling a squeeze right now. Paycheck to paycheck, credit card debt with no real hope and no chance of getting ahead in sight. The American dream, opportunity for advancement, and he is mourning the death of that. He doesn't feel that, and most folks aren't either. He says, mm. it's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me, me and, and people, people like, like you. you. Wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. Oh, it's a it, oh, it is. He said, it's a shame because it doesn't have to be this way. Not long ago, it was different, but we've declined to a point where it is that way, whether we'd like it or not. The American dream, which is that opportunity for advancement is gone. And he feels no hope to get out of this economic cycle of indentured servitude. It's a shame. He goes on, living in the new world with an old soul. The world has changed too much. It's changed too fast. And the stuff that we hold the most dear is gone. It is a, a distant memory. And he misses the old world with, with its old values and the things Woo! we used to care about. Huh. Uh, he misses his country. He goes on. These rich men north of Richmond. Now, when he says this line, it's in the title as well. You think of Richmond, Virginia, what's above it? Well, D.C. And so he's talking about the suits, the powerful politicians with their empty promises and their meaningless platitudes, which sing us to sleep generation after generation. Sing us to sleep. Things are going to get better for you. And all, it, all that happens is it gets better for them. Uh, each year we get more and more corrupt, more evil, and it's all going to come along well if you vote for me. And these billionaires and multi multi millionaires with their jets and their private houses spanned out they're just a bunch of con men hmm. and so it is their fault it is the fault of our elite class and the fault of our bureaucrats and our politicians and our lobbyists and our media that's put us in this uh this mess lord knows they all just want to have total control want to know what you think want to know what you do. And this is the rise of the surveillance state. Immediately images of the lockdowns and censorship and unbridled tyranny comes about. What do tyrants want? What do people in control want? They want more control. They want more power. Enough is never enough for tyrants. And so that's what he is uh, singing there. The next verse is, and they don't think you know, but I know that you do. He's saying, the tyrants, maybe they believe they're getting away with it, but we actually do understand that the times are desperately bleak. We're on to the game. We know everything's a lie. We're not believing what we're hearing and seeing anymore. And Oliver's basically saying, guys, I know you see what I see, but many of us won't say it out loud 
or mm. we, we maybe we'll, we'll whisper it to each other, but we're not declaring it from the podiums. Mm. We're not declaring it from our platforms. Many of us are not, because if we say it out loud, if we admit it to be true, uh, well, that in and of itself is a terrible thing to admit that it is as desperate as we really feel and already sense it is. But if we admit it out loud, maybe we have to do something about it. And if we have to do something about it, it'll cost us something that we're not really willing to pay right now. All right, mm. next lyric. Because your dollar ain't crap and it's taxed to no end because of rich men north of rich men. It's the politicians that have caused massive inflation to run rampant and also pushed our cost of goods sold way up. So not only is your dollar inflated and worthless, but the cost of goods sold is way, way up. So your dollar isn't going nearly as far. I read a report recently that the American family is making $5,000 less in real money this year over last. That means your salary may not have gone down, but because of the spiking cost of everything around, you are $5,000 poor. So credit Ooh. card debt has been taking off, skyrocketing at 22% interest on credit card debt. Man, we are in a whole world of hurt, and he's recognizing that. Now, if that's not bad enough, and it is, remember, your tax rate is wildly high. And when you take all the different taxes that we have, it's income and property and state, local municipality of your cell phones tax. When you die, there's it's a ridiculous. death tax. It's You're ridiculous. getting taxed every which way. And so it really will amount to about 50% of everything that you really make is going out in some way or another toward tax. If you make a whole lot, well, it's even higher than that. Unless you're a billionaire and then you know how to completely evade taxes and then you don't pay taxes at all. I know what you're thinking, really bleak, but this is why the song is popular. It's because it's bleak. This is a song for our cultural moment. I wish politicians would look out for miners and not just miners on an island somewhere. So the very first word, miners, it's like you're working in a mine. Where he lives, there's a big mining population. So they're going underground and they're working their butts off in terrible, terrible conditions. But politicians, are they working? Uh, are they looking out for the working man who's breaking his back and risking his life to do really dangerous jobs? No, they're not. Instead, they're looking out for minors, as in very young people who are being sexually exploited in pedophile rings that are protected by politicians because they're working out their lust and indulging in this pedophilia. Woo! That's why he's saying, like, hey, where's Epstein's client list? Nowhere. Why? It's because of protected class. It's because they're the ones that are complicit in this horrible, evil, sick, twisted human enslavement crime against humanity. Next stanza. Lord, we got folks in the street, ain't got nothing to eat, and the obese milking welfare. Well, God, if you're five foot three and you're 300 pounds, taxes ought not to pay for your bags of fudge rounds. He's saying, hey, we're physically crazy unhealthy. And our system is rewarding bad decision makers while meanwhile, mm -hmm. folks who are really detrimentally in serious need aren't getting the simple provisions they need uh, to make it. Next stanza, young men are putting themselves six feet in the ground because all this damn country does is keep kicking them down. There's a war against young men. Suicide rates, depression rates have skyrocketed as well. And there's nothing to be done for these folks. Mm. In fact, I think strong, hardworking American men are really the enemy. Uh, there's no class hated so much as a white, young man, heterosexual. You're the man, you're the enemy. Last verse I'll read now because the rest just repeats. Lord, it's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like I me mean, and people, people like, like you. It is a shame. What else do you do? What, where, where's your hope? What do you do? Now in the song, there's no hope extended. There's no action points. Let's go do this. Because again, this is a dirge for the American dream. It's a funeral song. This is a sad, sad, deep soul anguish mourning over what has been lost. However, Oliver, in an overnight success, got opportunity to sing this in front of a live audience. When he did that, though, he did show that there was glimmer of hope. And he says it in a name in this stanza, Lord, it's a damn shame what the world's gotten to. And so it's on that, I'm going to let Oliver have the very last word. Here's the only hope. This is in uh, Psalm, mm. Psalm 37, 
12 through 20. The wicked plot against the righteous and gnash their teeth at them, but the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he knows their day is coming. The wicked draw the sword and bend the bow to bring down the poor and needy, to slay those whose ways are upright, but their swords will pierce their own hearts and their bows will be broken. Better the little that have righteousness than the wealth of many wicked. For the power of the wicked will be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. The blameless spend their days under the Lord's care, and their inheritance will endure forever. In times of disaster, they will not wither. In days of famine, they will have plenty. But the wicked will perish. Though the Lord's enemies are like the flowers of the field, they will be consumed, and they will go up in smoke. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in for this video. I know. Powerful, man. Um, again, y'all see why I spread so much love, man. And uh, I'm so glad that we are spreading this truth, man. And uh, I'm wishing nothing but the best to all you guys, families, um, your, the f people around you, your marriage, your friendships, your relationships. That, hey, man, that you guys are just blessed and that nothing but the best goes on in the near future, man, in you guys' lifetime, man. Um, life is short. Life is precious. And, um, you know, Tom is just ticking, ticking, ticking. And I tell y'all, man, um, things that just look like, you know, it look like it's just going to get worse and worse and worse, man. So please spread that love to one another. You never know what somebody's going through. I want to thank John for this breakdown and um, giving his um, perspective and, you know, how he took the song in and basically giving a good point of view of the, ly of the, of the lyrics that were, you know what I'm saying, said by Oliver Anthony, man. Again, it's a very true, sad song, man, that points out a lot of stuff in today's world, how evil and you know what people are really really going through every single day man you know i salute all of our hard workers man people that are are literally right now getting it in right now man just so they can feed their families man month seven days a week 80 hours man 40 50 60 80 hours man you know struggling man I'm wishing y'all the best, man. And um, we're gonna read a couple more comments. Um, cause I I, I just love um, taking in other people's uh, you know what I'm saying, favorite lyrics and how they respond to the song, how they reflect to the song, and just the video, you the video in general. But um, the new I like this one. Uh, by Dark uh, Passenger. New world for a new world for an old soul really hits hard because this new world is horrible. The things certain people are trying to normalize, and we're just supposed to accept it. <laughs> oh, now that comment deserves a thousand likes. I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, that comment deserves a thousand likes. This song hit everyone around the world. It hits me in the heart. Mm. I actually spent several hours watching dozens of different influencers review this song. Cross political lines, all races too, ideologies too. I've never seen so many people tear up over a song before. And if y'all watch my reactions, uh, my first reaction to the song that did, that that actually I got put on the new the Fox News channel and everything. Um, I cried tears listening to this song for the first time. And um as it's just it's just nothing but the truth, man. And um coming from where I come from in my household, my my, my seeing my parents work day in, day out, seven days a week, seeing my mom work three jobs at one point, seeing my dad work long shifts and never really getting to see him sometimes. Um that song the hearing this song for the first time will really hit you upside the head, man. And like I say, I cried tears hearing it for the first time, man. And then my dad passing away um, as he was getting he was ready to, you know, get his Social Security and, and, and live the rest of his life. 
uh, stress free after working so many years. But my dad sadly passed away unexpectedly. So man, it just it just hits me in all kind of aspects when you listen to a song like this. You know what I'm saying? And then I kind of just relate it to you guys, man, and what other people are actually going through, man. And then reading the comments underneath my reaction, uh, underneath my reaction videos, put me in tears as well, man, because you really get to see everybody is going through the exact same thing, man. Everybody is really out here going through the exact same thing, man. Even if we, we were working different occupations or stuff like that. We're still going through similar things, man. And this is why I tell y'all to just spread love, man. Be kind and care for one another, man. Again, race doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? What you look like doesn't matter. What you smell like doesn't matter, man. How tall, how short, how big, how skinny doesn't matter. Your age doesn't matter. And I want to tell you on this channel, you are loved. You feel me? But, um... I'm I'm thankful. I'm, I'm real thankful for every last one of y'all, and I'm really thankful for Anthony or Oliver Oliver, and that uh, that this song is a major success, and that he continues to to grow, and that nothing but the best happens in his life and in his career. And um, hey, it's a lot, y'all. It really is. I tell you. Again, that this 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 comment right here really is still hitting me upside the head. Working three jobs now, seven days a week, to battle inflation to support my family. This song hits home. Ugh. I've read like at least a thousand comments like that this past week, man. This past weekend, man. So I love y'all. I'm wishing y'all the best, and y'all have a beautiful, blessed day, month, year. And that your year is filled with nothing but peaceful, happy days. And that your career takes off. That you are filled with upgrades and pay raises, man. And that your family, your friends, your neighbors, the strangers around the world are blessed and receive more love, man. And more health. I love y'all. And y'all have a beautiful, blessed day, man. And I'll catch y'all in the next one, man. Peace and love, y'all.